Special uh, Vipak Sand Love Award. My name is Rabi Ergarib, and on the line with me, I've got somebody extremely special, somebody you've seen on Pakistani television, somebody you've heard, and somebody you've obviously, hopefully, also interacted with online. Uh, Turi is the founder of Dematics.com. How are you, Turi? Great to be speaking to you, Rabia. Thanks for bringing me on the call. Yeah, and just so that people do actually believe me, where in the world am I talking to you from? I'm sitting at the top of a 10-story block in wow. West London in Notting Hill Gate, looking out over a pretty gray but not too cold uh, May afternoon. Really? And it's, it's not as wet as perhaps Simon Cowell keeps saying on TV? <laughs> <laughs> Poor little shrinking violet that he is. For anyone who doesn't know, what is Demotics all about? Demotics is a very, very simple idea. Um, Demotics launched about, uh, about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. My background is a combination of politics and journalism. Um, and what I've been seeing, as all of us unfortunately have been seeing over the last 10 years, has been this massive shrink in um, the kind of news that was reported all around the world. Um, mm -hmm. Journalists have been fired. Um, there is a, you know, the, the very, very big business uh, concerns of many media uh, outlets meant that they were covering more celebrity than, uh, than, uh, than serious news. Um, right. And I was also involved in a whole bunch of free speech enterprises, predominantly in the Middle East, in the Arab Middle East, but also globally. Um, and I was also very excited about the possibilities of creating a network which would allow people anywhere to tell the stories which they care about um, and to really interact with the, the 2.0 web uh, from a news perspective. So what we did, we built, we built a very simple platform called Demotics, D-E-M-O-T-I-A, where anyone anywhere can upload their news, photos, stories, and videos. What we do is we host them, we take mm -hmm. the best of that material, and we ship it out to the mainstream media all the way around the world. What we're building and what we've built is a kind of um, an associated press or a Reuters for freelancers, for amateurs, and for semi-professionals all over the world. Well, wait a second. Now, there's this uh, problem for, of credibility that's going to keep cropping up, because if they're freelancers and not associated with a credible agency, how will anyone believe them? How do you take care of that? We um, are exceptionally lucky insofar <laughs> as our community is a the community of... About 15,000 users on Demotics, 3,000 active users, profoundly committed to the kind of ideas that we all believe in, which is that talking truth is an important, is an important thing which needs to be done responsibly. We put a huge amount of reliance on our community, but flip side is also that we check every single story which comes into Demotics for its mm -hmm. veracity. We're checking the, the metadata in our images and in our video. We are comparing the stories that we get into Demotics with the stories we're hearing elsewhere on the web. We have long, ongoing relationships with so many of our contributors. We know who they are. They know who we are. We are... Uh, we're, we're, a, we're, a, we're a proper nurturing little HQ here in London. Um, okay. And so we're not entirely dissimilar to the big boys. I, I think it was last year that you were on a whirlwind tour of South Asia, right? <laughs> I wish I could come. I wish I'd stayed longer, and okay. I wish I could come back. Yeah, I spent four days in Karachi, the most fascinating four days of my trip around. I was in Bangladesh, Nepal, uh, and uh, India, both in Delhi and Mumbai, um, okay. and spent three, four days in Karachi. Um, Talked to Dawn TV, spoke at Dawn, spoke at the newspaper, met with the guys right. from Jung. And I think a lot of bloggers also met up with you, and I, I believe you went out for a particularly spicy uh, barbecue dinner, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yes, yeah? exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, it was televised. Um, so you, I, think, I think far too many people watched me burn my tongue. Um, on some very very spicy uh, food on the on the on, on those fantastic little platforms outside those coffee shops. From countries like Pakistan, which are just uh, up and coming in terms of their blogosphere, what kind of a response does a platform like yours get? Huge. I want to say something very potentially uh, counterintuitive, but it is okay. those countries which have uh, which are um, supposed to be just budding now in the uh, in the web and 2.0 space that actually we get the most fantastic stories from um, okay. there is a uh, whether it's Pakistan or even Afghanistan um, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, Thailand now whether wherever it might be whether a thing whether a thing's for say and whether there is a perceived um, political interference in right. uh, in media demotics really works as a as a, as a magnet and we've had we have hundreds of contributors from Pakistan all over the country who've done okay. amazing, amazing work for us um, and with us. Um, and to use Demotics not just as a way where, where they can potentially make a little bit of money when we license their, their stories onto mainstream media, um, mm -hmm. but actually as a way of getting news out into a global space. Um, uh, you know, Pakistan, as I understand it, and the new media community in Pakistan is exceptionally active in talking amongst themselves. 
but it's also critical, especially in a country like Pakistan, which plays such an important role on, on, on the global stage now, to be getting those conversations out to a wider audience. And that's where I think demotics plays um, has the greatest use. Where do you see citizen journalism uh, versus mainstream journalism? Or is it going to be an either or? Or is there ever going to be a convergence between the two? <clears throat> I think there already is a complete convergence between the two. It's just we are still stuck with two misnomers, essentially. Uh, the idea that there is such a thing as pure citizen journalism or pure professional journalism doesn't really fly anymore. Um, what you have is a, um, and I think we see this across the, across, across the global space, the little I know of, uh, of South Asian media works in the same way online, certainly in the US, certainly in Western Europe. Um, this is the way things now work. There is a combination of, uh, of skills required to produce news. Part of it is, is br raw, sort of brutish news gathering, sort of chipping away at the coalface. And it goes from that all the way through to producing very, very tightly packaged final final products, whether those are uh, videos or documentaries or news uh, broadcasts or, or, or right. frankly, articles. Right. Um, what, we, what we've seen and what we see more and more of is that the, um, the uh, early stage, the kind of the rock face work, is being done by a combination of pros and ams um, across the entire space. Um, we also see that even in the research and the detailed uh, research that often goes into building a proper investigative piece of reporting, we also see so-called citizens, um, non-professional journalists getting properly stuck into the process. You right. see that in the UK with a wonderful example, which was when the expenses scandal, which I'm sure you know about, broke in the UK, mm -hmm. um, inculpating uh, dozens and dozens of our MPs here. Okay. Um, the Telegraph dr dripped the story out in uh, highly measured, full, old-fashioned journalism way. And the Guardian, when they got the data, simply built a widget which they put online and asked what turned out to be over 20,000 uh, citizens in the UK to get stuck into the whole business of figuring out whether their MPs had been fiddling or not. Right. Um, it's a wonderful example of the, um, the sort of cross-fertilization and, and the use that um, pros can, can, can serve for uh, amateurs or citizens um, so far as they're able to publish, uh, publish and publicize stories which are important, and they're gatekeepers now still, but it also shows exactly how so-called citizens can impact in the process of creating news. So the way, the way, so I, I, I already see a complete uh, convergence of these various different skills, and I don't see them anymore as divided between pros, uh, the professional journalists, right. and the uh, and amateurs. What you see is a is a news gathering process which includes an enormous number of people and a whole bunch of tools. Um, many of which only come to us because the web is as powerful as it is. We're honored to have you a part of the Blog Awards now. Um, we've been talking about this for a while. So we're thrilled that you'll be able to do something, you know, offer uh, a more meaningful collaboration with more bloggers, because you said that there are lots of, con uh, of contributors already. But we're hoping that this process will also help to leave more bloggers your way so that you can um, do exactly what we want um, we want to happen here, which is let the citizens create the news and you know, voice it out on platforms like yours. We are super excited to be partnering with you guys. Um, it's, it, it's exactly the kind of partnership which really, really makes sense for us. Um, what we're able to do is, to, in a very, very, very hands-off way, to create a platform mm -hmm. for people to tell their stories to a global audience. And um, right. the way we do that most effectively is by partnering with organizations like yours to get the word out that we exist, um, and to really start interacting with the very best of um, uh, online, new, uh, revolutionary, and often very brave journalists um, working right. around the globe. And in Pakistan, I have to say, particularly. Ravi, it's absolutely wonderful speaking to you. We're very much hoping that, um, that, the, that the blog awards go as well as they look like they, they're going. Um, so. We're thrilled to be involved with the photo on the photo side, and of course now on the video side as well that we're, that we're, that we're engaged in. Um, and yes, please do send as many people as care to get involved over to demotics.com. If any of you have any questions or comments for Turi or Demotics in general, please post them below this post and uh, Turi will make sure sitting all the way from England as he is to respond to them. Turi, again, thank you very much. Fabia, great to talk as ever. <laughs>